Hello, everyone. Uh, I sent an email a few days ago regarding the use of vitamin D to help to support your immune system um, against the COVID-19 coronavirus. And uh, I was hoping to just provide some good news amidst the uh, negative news that we're getting about all the cases increasing and deaths worldwide and, and the tragedy that, that, that we're seeing regularly. Um, I received a couple of emails back criticizing my recommendation of vitamin D at this time, specifically for uh, coronavirus. And so I just wanted to respond uh, with some facts uh, based on some solid research uh, that has been done so that you can make the best educated decision for yourself as to whether vitamin D, um, as well as vitamin A and K2, those three fat soluble vitamins would be a uh, prevention strategy that, that you would like to take for yourself. So most everyone has learned about the role that vitamin D has on the health of your skeletal system and preventing osteoporosis, but mounting evidence demonstrates that it plays a major role in strengthening the immune system to combat against infection from viruses. In fact, it has become well established, supported by research from the British Medical Journal, that vitamin D deficiency increases one's risk of getting the common flu. So let me just share something here with you regarding that in particular. This research study by the British Medical Journal, you can see um, 2017, uh, specifically looked at 25 randomized controlled trials. So 25 different research studies. There was a total of over 11,000 participants age zero to 95. So this was a general study. And it's, the results showed that vitamin D supplementation reduced the risk of acute respiratory infact, uh, tract infection among all participants. And um, this had a, a good statistical significance. So as I said, vitamin D has been well established as providing a uh, major role in strengthening your immune system against viruses. But what you may not know at this point is that taking vitamin D has already been linked to your immune system fighting the various types of coronaviruses. Uh, having healthy levels of vitamin D in your system increases your body's production of an antimicrobial peptide known as LL-37, which has been tested and proven effective with multiple coronaviruses. And this is according to the Journal of Clinical Infectious Diseases and the Journal of Clinical Virology. And let me share that with you too. All of these references will be made available so that you can actually go and, and um, link any of them yourself. So this one right here is the one from Clinical Infectious Diseases. And it uh, studied the LL37. Uh, host events peptide with antimicrobial and immunomodulatory properties. It looked at this specifically with um, viral etiology with respiratory, uh, uh, the respiratory system. And then this study from the Journal of Clinical Virology, you can find this on PubMed, um, vitamin D and the antiviral state. Uh, it says that though vitamin D's antiviral mechanism has not been fully established, meaning we don't understand exactly all that vitamin D does as an antiviral, it may be linked to vitamin D's ability to upregulate the antimicrobial peptides, LL37, as well as another one known as human beta defensin 2. Um, and it's saying that future studies uh, would be great to understand the mechanism more as an antiviral agent, but it knows that it's having some kind of effect with this LL37, which um, has been linked to, let me go back to this one right here, uh, which has been linked to uh, coronaviruses in particular. It actually affects the coronaviruses itself. So I'm gonna switch my screen again. Um, 
So having healthy levels of vitamin D has been shown to help with that antimicrobial peptide LL37. In addition to that, cell culture studies have shown that vitamin D has an antiviral effect, uh, particularly against enveloped viruses like coronaviruses. So if you're like me and you're wanting to know what you can do for prevention, then make sure that you are taking your vitamin D. But as I said before, taking vitamin D alone is not nearly as effective at um, supporting your body's immune response as it is with taking it along with vitamin A and vitamin K2. These three fat-soluble vitamins, D3, K2, and A, have a synergistic effect when taken together to increase the virus uh, fighting effects of vitamin D. And one of the critiques against doing vitamin D right now um, has to do with the way that the coronavirus is attacking cells. And so um, there's a study that, was, that just came out um, in March of 2020, March 20th, 2020, and it's talking specifically about SARS-CoV-2, um, which is the official name for the COVID-19 virus. Um, and they're asking, uh, is this a problem um, in terms of this, this ACE, this ACE, angiotensin converting enzyme? It's known that this is one of the, the, the primary ways that that the coronavirus actually gets into the cell are these uh, ACE um, these ACE receptors on the cell. Now, one of the things that this study that was just done um, a week ago, week and a half ago, um, it says that theoretically there there is an associated risk of higher susceptibility to infection um, with these ACE two. Uh, but there is no current. There is currently no data providing a causal relationship between ACE2 activity and the SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19 associated mortality. It also says that ACE2 expression may not necessarily correlate with the degree of infection. And so, what this is, what the what it is saying is that vitamin D is known to increase these ACE2. Um, access points to the cell, and if there's more ACE2, then it could be easier for the COVID-19 to actually get into your cells. But the research um, that, is, that was just done a month ago is clearly saying that that is not necessarily the case. So that's the major, um, major critique against taking vitamin D right now, but there's a, already an official response from the European Heart Journal um, is, this, is where this, this study was published. So again, if you're like me and you're wanting to uh, know what to do, um, then how much vitamin D should you take? Uh, 10,000 IUs of vitamin D per day is what I would recommend. And you know, most people, when I mention that, they say, hold on a minute, my doctor told me I should only take 2,000 IUs a day and no more. Um, and the problem with that recommendation is that that upper limit was established in 1997 by the um, Food and Nutrition Board, but it is no longer based on current scientific evidence and viewed by many as being way too restrictive, um, curtailing research, um, curtailing the optimization of nutrition policy, and therefore the optimization of your immune function as well. Um, in fact, research that was published in 2007, let me share this, The research published in 2007 by the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that um, there was no toxicity, absence of toxicity, in trials conducted on healthy adults that used vitamin D dose greater than or equal to 10,000 IU of vitamin D. And so they said that supports the confident selection of this as the upper limit. So this being 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3 a day, um, should be the upper limit is what this study um, was suggesting. And so the upper limit established by the Food and Nutrition Board is, is now out of date um, because there is more research um, that was done 20 years after that research that clearly showed that, that 10,000 is just fine. So if you want to uh, 
help yourself prevent getting infected with COVID-19 coronavirus or help yourself to at least have a healthier and more efficient immune response to exposure, then start taking a supplement that contains vitamin D3, K2, and A. Um, if you have questions about including K2 and A along with it, got plenty of research to send you on that. Just um, re reply to this or, or make a comment. We can send that to you. Um, one of the best examples of the best type of uh, supplement for this um, is done by Da Vinci Labs. It's the most efficient, the most convenient, the least expensive option that we've found. Uh, and it, uh, if you want to access this, there's um, a, a great online vitamin and supplement dispensary called Wellivate that we're able to um, connect you with for a free account. Um, you receive a discount on any order that you make with them due to the fact that you're a patient or a friend of a patient or family member of a patient of, of our clinic. Please let me know if you have additional questions and please, before you um, respond with more critiques, um, read some of the, the research and, and check to um, fact check you know, the information that I'm providing you. Um, God bless you and let us know how we can be helpful.